Hello. In this presentation, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to share a folder on a Windows 7 computer using either Windows Explorer or the shared folder snap-in in computer management. So let's get started. I'm going to launch Windows Explorer first and show you how to share a folder in Windows Explorer using the utilities in Windows Explorer. So inside of my C drive, I've got a folder called support. And if I'd like to share this folder, I'm going to right click on support and left click on properties. Once I'm in the support properties, I can left click on the tab called sharing. Inside of the sharing tab, I'd like to left click on the button advanced sharing. In the advanced sharing box, I'm going to check the box share this folder. I'm going to leave the default value of support in the share name text box. I'm not going to worry about the number of simultaneous users allowed, which is 20. And you could put comments in if you'd like. And in a corporate network, I would recommend doing this because it may be easier for your end users to locate resources if there are comments. And then you click on the permissions tab. And here's where you define who has permissions to use this shared folder. I'm going to remove everyone as a source of permissions and I'd like to add domain admins. And I'm searching the contoso.com domain for users, groups, or built-in security principles. I'll check the name and it's underlined now. So my computer has validated that domain admins is an actual Active Directory group. I'll click OK and I'll define that domain admins are allowed full control access. I'll apply those changes, but I'd also like to click Add and define one additional group that has access to this resource. I have a domain local group I created in Active Directory called DL Support Resources Read. If I check that name, it's underlined indicating this is a valid group in Active Directory. So I'll click OK and I'm going to give DL Support Resources Read just read access. And I'll click OK and click OK and I will close my Support Properties dialog box. I have now shared the support folder using Windows Explorer. If I want to share the Users folder, I can do that, but I'll show you how to share the Users folder using Computer Management. So if I click on Start, there's a shortcut to Computer Management I like to use by right-clicking on My Computer and left-clicking on Manage. I'm now in Computer Management and I can expand Shared Folders. If I left-click on Shares, this is a list of all the folders that are shared on this computer. You'll see the folder support is shared. We just did that. So now I want to create a new shared folder so I'll right click and then left click on new share. The create a shared folder wizard appears and I click next. Now I need to identify the location of the folder I'd like to share. I know how to type the location in but I'm still going to browse to eliminate typos. So I'm going to expand the C drive, scroll down, and select Users, the folder I would like to share. And I'll click OK. I'll now click Next, and you'll see that the Share Name text box also has a default value of Users. I'm going to go ahead and leave that alone and continue on. I'll put a description in, and then click Next. Now I've got shared folder permissions that automates permissions a little bit for me. In the last demonstration, I had to remove everyone and add administrators with full access and other users having read access or administrators have full access, other users have no access. I'm going to choose administrators have full access, other users have no access. And then I'll click on finish. And I'll click on the summary page finish and I've now created a shared folder for users. If I'd like to modify permissions 
later on, I can do that in either the shared folder snap in in computer management or I can do that in Windows Explorer. Since I'm in computer management, I'll show you how to do it here first. If I right click on users and left click on properties, I have share permissions as a tab that's available for me. And you see administrators have full control access and there are no other people that have access to this shared folder. So if I click the add button and I'd like the domain users to have access to this folder, I can type in domain users and then click OK. And I'd like domain users to have read access to this folder and then I can click OK. If I want to modify permissions from Windows Explorer, I can certainly do that as well. So if I launch Windows Explorer again, expand my C drive and go to the users folder, I can right click on users, left click on properties, click on the sharing tab, and now click on advanced sharing and you'll see that there is a permissions button. If I click on the permissions button, domain users have read access and administrators have full control access. If I'm an error and I don't want domain users to have access, I can highlight domain users, remove that entry, and I'm back to having administrators having full control access. So I'll click on OK, and I'll click on OK, and I'll click on, or I'll click close to the user's properties window, and then close Windows Explorer. This concludes my demonstration on how to share a folder using Windows Explorer or the shared folders snap-in in computer management. Please check back later for a complete demonstration on how to most effectively assign shared folder permissions and what the effective combined permissions are for shared folders and NTFS permissions. This is BrickHouseLabs.com and thanks for watching.